I'm Ruthie, and welcome to Fifth Street Marketplace. Hope you enjoy our show. Welcome to The View from the Fifth Street Marketplace. We're happy to have you join us today. I'm Bobby Avery. This is Judy Lucas, your host. Good morning. Our first guest today is Chris Foss. Chris, hi. How hi. are you? Fine. How Thank are you? Thank you for joining us today. Sure. Tell us a little bit about yourself. You're not originally from here. Where, did, where were you from the beginning? Uh, originally, I'm from Michigan. I moved to Texas. Uh, I've been there. I was there for about 30 years. And uh, my brother and his wife moved to Crossville. So we RV and stuff. So we came to visit and just loved it. I mean, we just loved the small town, the quaintness. And so about a year and a half, we moved. Oh, well, yeah. perfect. Yeah. So how long have you been here, here now? A year and a half. A year and a half? Mm -hmm. OK. Oh, that was three years ago that you came to visit then. Your, mm -hmm. uh, right. Sister-in-law. Um, and as you were shopping, you found the Fifth Street Marketplace? Exactly. Just going to all the little local shops. Uh -huh. and. So when we found this one and realized that they did the consignment stuff, and I craft, my sister-in-law crafts, and so it was a perfect little fit for us. So that was an opportunity to meet people and get our stuff out, and, uh, and it's worked well. I mean, it's been a perfect fit. We've enjoyed it. I love shopping here. Uh -huh. um, yeah, it's great. <laughs> I see you found something I today. I did find something today for $5. <laughs> and it goes perfect it's with your outfit. Yes, it does. It matches yeah. perfect, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Now, besides shopping here, you have your crafts here, and what are they? Um, actually, I have a few with me. I have, um, these are um, bean bags, corn bags. Uh -huh. You can fill them with either. You can um, use them as a heating um, oh. a heating pad or uh, put them in the freezer for an ice pack. Oh. I like to sew. There? Yeah. So and after they, a That goes good with work. your watch, which you found well, here, too. Oh, yes. I also got this. <laughs> <laughs> I did. So, I got here. I got that downstairs right. here today. And I like to sew. I like so. to, and I'm just learning how to quilt. So, and I this love nice. pin cushions. So uh -huh. these are just a few of the pin cushions that I've made. There's oh, chicken and a flower. And then this is um, at, when you're cutting your fabric on the end, you have a, what they call the salvage. Everybody uh -huh. usually throws that out. So um, I made pin cushions with salvage, and that's oh. kind of saving that little bit. And they're all going to be Sorry. different and different colors and that kind of thing. Oh, how unique. And then there's the just the long little, you know, kind of lay it by your wrist type thing. And then I no, also... I guess you could use that on the... Exactly. For the computer, too. Exactly. And then these are just some uh, pieces of wood. Some of them I got garage sailing. Uh, some of them are in my garage. Now and these just, are what I picked out. Bobby yes. and I went upstairs to your to your space, and I said, "Oh, I said we have to get these." Oh, now there were yes. three of them. Yeah, we okay. have one on the other oh, table. Oh, we have They're one on the really other table. Nice. I have to holders. set these over here. Those are I unusual. I love these. You put did a great table. job. That's great. Well, now, thank you. How do you do this? Did you just, just are these the shapes that you find, or do mm -hmm. you get different shapes and put them together? What just is it? just a piece of wood, and you get your your um, whatever uh, paper that you want to put. Their paper comes like in the scrapbooking okay. section, and oh, then okay. just put pick your paper, like a decoupage, decoupage it, on, it on, and then put your little candle holder on it, paint oh, whatever color. Now, where do you come up with ideas like this? This is unusual, don't you think? Yes, it's it is. Crafter and it matches my things. living room. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is really nice. And the thing I like about your pin cushions is they're big enough to put a lot of pins on. And they're you know? heavy so you don't knock them over. Oh, and they're decorative. Yeah. That's what I like about yeah, them. Yeah, they're, they're so cute. This is just you so you put it out. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I can remember whenever my mom sewed at home. The you know, delicate little... It, no, she had like a tomato. Oh, yeah. Yes. That's, that's right. Yes. Remember that's that? Right. Exactly. You know, that clipped onto exactly. your hand. You know, well, these are much more practical right. and much more decorative. Yeah, well, I'm glad cute. how we've evolved over the years, you know. Yeah, they're, mm -hmm. they're adorable. You know, these are nice little gifts that you can get people, too. Oh, it would be. Exactly. Because that you know that's those and um i assume they're reasonably priced like i feel like they're reasonably priced and oh you know yes. people that don't even big sewers everybody's got needles for to put on buttons or hems or whatever so you can always yes. use a pin cushion and if it's big enough you won't lose it you'll know where it's at yes there's a lot of work in this so. um where do you get the little embellishes that we put on here the stuff like that i sort of um i go to like you know garage sales uh -huh. i go to um uh junk stores um flea market fle yeah and just sort of look for kind of unusual things that i can put on uh, when i make something like that when i pick this up it's just a piece of a piece of wood and then just kind of looking around it's like well i could stick this on there i could put this on and then i just added the candle holder so it just sort of evolves uh -huh. so i'm always kind of on the lookout for something unusual 
and I have like a whole little area in the house where I have all this stuff that I just kind of go through knobs and uh -huh. that kind of stuff. Rusty. So my husband's. Is everything have to be old and rusty? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what do you mean? And yeah, that's I, I, what sells today. Yeah. Old and rusty. Old yeah, and rusty. Well, up. that's me in that, a few years. I was going to say. <laughs> I'm say. working on the old is the rusty part. <laughs> I understand you like to weave baskets, too. I do. Um, uh, years ago, my mother taught me how to, to weave baskets. And when she wanted wow. me to do it, she brought all this stuff in her suitcase, you know, and and it's like, geez, mom, you know, I can't imagine I'm going to weave a basket. I just, it's, yeah. I can't quite get it. You're going to do this before I leave. You know, before I go home from this trip, you're going to do this. And so I did, and I really liked it. Uh -huh. So I did it for Good. years, and then I sort of put it to side, and then I go off and do other things. Then we went to um, Kentucky to the Shaker Village, uh -huh. and they have yeah. a lot of, you know, the Shaker stuff, the furniture and the baskets. So that kind of inspired me. So my sister-in-law wanted to, to learn how to do it. So when we got back the next day, it was like, we're going to do it. So we sat out on the porch and got all the stuff together. And so I'm going to try to, I'm going to attempt to start weaving again. Uh -huh. And uh, and I think she enjoyed it. It was just a fun day. It was a real pretty, the weather was nice. And I've got a big porch with big rocking chairs. And we just sort of sat out there. Oh. And it, was a, it was a beautiful day. Yeah, we that, enjoyed it. That's great. And that'll be another product that you're bringing here then? I'll bring it in here. And I hope to, at some point, even maybe give some lessons on just basic, you know, ba oh. uh, basic basket making. Would that be here? or It would be here or wherever I can find a, an okay. area. Okay. Yeah, whenever I feel confident enough to do it. <laughs> it may be a while, but I'm working on it. Um, oh, and that sounds wonderful. Then I hear you're, you're trying to learn about quilting. Yes. Uh, when I was in Texas, I took a couple of quilt classes and just did like little, um, you know, throws, little lap quilts. And then um, kind of ventured off. And then actually here in Crossville at the, uh, the Arts, um, Shank Art Center, mm -hmm. uh -huh. right. uh, there's a gal there that I met. She gave quilt classes there. So I made my first um, the bed quilt. And quite frankly, I'm, I'm having the back of it put on. We just uh -huh. call the, the top of it, they call piecing. And so I did all the piecing on the top of it. And because it's so big, I'm having somebody actually put it together for me. Mm. So um, otherwise, I would have brought it to show. But okay. uh, yeah, I really like the quilting. I like the people, and um, I love fabric, you know, along with this other junk uh -huh. pile. So I have stacks and stacks of little piece of, you know, pieces of fabric here and a little pile over there. And so... I've got quite a collection of things well, at home. Good. Yeah, yeah I, I just enjoy crafts. I'm always looking for something different to do. But the quilting is kind of a special thing, you know, it is. Yeah. But it's a lot of work. It's not, you can't bring that in and, and inexpensively, you know. Right. Yeah. You know, and, and right. I don't know, you've probably shot for quilts too, and there's a difference between something that's not made, by hand exactly. and Machine one that's, yeah made mm -hmm. by hand the quality of it and so on so yes it costs more but you're getting better quality and those are the ones that you can hand down exactly to, you know, generation right to generation, and be proud like of our it. past generations right. did and uh, so yeah. this is nice to be able to um talk to people that do things here get to know them a little bit more and um uh, find out what they do now you're always looking for new crafts you said I'm always so your mind's spinning all the yeah. time <laughs> I'm always looking, yeah. Yeah. Um, now um and this is a good good area too because there are many places you can get to from here uh-huh well um i and i heard that you also enjoyed watching the transformation here at Ruthie's at the marketplace. Yes, when we first came, it had a little bit different feel to it. And in the last few months, she's came in and uh -huh. just, she's redid it. She's just brought life back to it. It's like a fun place that you want to shop. Um, the way it's decorated, like I say, the feel, the food, wonderful lunch here. And um, for me, I think instead of always having to leave town to go somewhere, I kind of like to stay local if I can. And you can really come in here and basically get a gift for anybody. I mean, the men, old, young, there's baby stuff. I mean, it's, there's jewelry, there's artwork, there's you name it. So I can't imagine if you needed something that you just couldn't run in here and pick it up. So and that's, that's at all price ranges, yeah. too. That's what and, I like about um, it. Like, you've got the, the watch, you found a necklace, yeah. look what I found. <laughs> <laughs> and the and bracelet. That brings that. <laughs> and the bracelet. <laughs> well, Chris, we certainly enjoyed talking to you. Well, thank you've you. been a I wonderful enjoyed. guest uh, here. We have some goodies 
have now, you noticed now these that? are from amy and amy does our baking here oh, oh really and her friend yeah. and her friend does the candies and things um what? and this is called mm. i think this one is called um stained glass beautiful candy yeah. and it is just gorgeous it's almost too pretty to eat and from well, what i understand it's very very good now i have tasted the fudge and this one over here is grand monier fudge oh wow that she's made are we allowed that. to taste so, this do we dare do we dare oh we what the heck <laughs> okay <laughs> Let's it just wouldn't be see. fair. It wouldn't be a girl's day if we that, didn't have a few calories. Right. So we'll just stand these Thank up you. in yes. here. Oh. oh, you're going to set the and plate back know. down. Okay. Yes, I am. Well, but I'm going to try this go, Judy. one. Do you want to share it with me? Yes, I would love to share that. Are you kidding me? Okay. Why, you told me what it was. <laughs> she had you at that. Oh. <laughs> Sit here, you take that slice. I'm gonna take this little oh, one. Oh no, I was gonna give you the big one. Look at that. Oh, okay. Ready? Definitely ready. Mm -hmm. Ready. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It Delightful. is good. Mm -hmm. You were right. Mm -hmm. Great oh. place to come, shop, eat, eat, buy dessert, nice cup of coffee. Enjoy those calories and yeah. enjoy your girlfriends. <laughs> <laughs> we deserve it, right? That's right, exactly. Mm. Thank you again, Chris. This was You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. I enjoyed it. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate it. We'll be right back. Okay. Thank you for coming. We'll be right back. Spirit Broadband provides a bundle which includes 86 of the most popular TV channels, including high-definition local channels. This bundle includes up to 10 megs of broadband internet and unlimited long distance phone service. The cost for our bundle is only $85 for the first year. Catch the spirit and become part of our spirit broadband family. Welcome back to the view from the 5th Street Marketplace. Our next guest is Nanda Kane. Nanda, welcome. Thank you. And Nanda is the sister-in-law to Chris Boss, who we just interviewed, yes. and you brought yes. Chris here. I, you have come uh, from Florida, I understand. Yes. And where was that from? Tampa. Tampa. I know that well, because I'm from Tampa, too. So, And how long have you lived here? Three years. Three years. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And what brought you to Crossville? My husband had seen an advertisement in the Tampa Tribune for uh, a community here in, in Crossville. Oh, really? And we came up to check it out, and then we came back several times before we sold our home and moved here. Uh-huh. And you probably did a little <coughs> shopping here while you were here and yes, checking out the stores, yeah. right? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. And um, how did you find the Fifth, Fifth Street Marketplace? Uh, well, Chris and I were just touring the town and uh -huh. checking all the little stores and we came in here and we liked it immediately and Ruthie was so nice and we just kept coming back. Mm -hmm. And um, I understand you did crafts on and off or did you or did Chris get you involved in that? I had done crafts when my uh, children were younger uh -huh. and then I got away from it and Chris started me back. Okay. Oh, good for Chris. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We're glad that you got started back. What type items do you do? You do? Well, um, I make purses. This is interesting. I like the bamboo on here. Now, I can understand where you get this, the, the uh, material, but how do you find the handles to do? I found these at uh, Hancock Fabric, uh -huh. and oh. these are placemats. Oh, get You're out. kidding. No. Oh, may I see one? Oh, sure. wow. What an idea. Yes. Oh, that's terrific. <clears throat> oh, I love that. That is nice. I like different type purses, Let too. Let me see so. the front of that. That's, that's really pretty. Now, what are those hanging on there? Is that tassels? It's tassels, but, but they have I have a covering on there yes, to protect so that them. To yes. protect them. Which is nice. Now these are pretty well made. They're you nice. Do a good Look job. at that. Thank Looks you. like you've that been is, sewing for a long you. time. <laughs> no, not really. Wow. Well, you're so good you haven't you been sewing for a long time, and you do this quality. That is really great. Thank you. What a, a fun thing. Now, what is the cost of these? Uh, 
Do you twelve dollars. Twelve dollars. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. I love that. Oh, we can find something that matches an outfit. This would be good with your, your white. Yes, it is. Wow. That's why I chose you know? that one earlier. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm interested in the next thing because we have Halloween coming up. Yes. The pillow. Uh, and I love the crow uh, and the star. That just struck my fancy. That's like so that I, um, primitive. Yes. The, the primitive um, yes. decor and that they all, have. And it's felt, yes. Now, how do you come up with ideas like this? Because these are unusual, too. Well, Chris helps me some, and then magazines. And, uh huh. And I love to go to craft stores and craft fairs. And, uh huh. Uh, we travel, we have an RV, and, uh, you know, whenever we're in a strange town, I like to check out all the crafts. So you get ideas from that, too, yes. when you go back. And, I yes. can do that, right? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Do I see something else over there that's um, Halloween-related? Table runners. Oh, great. You know, it, it really dresses up a table, doesn't it, Judy, I can't when you believe put something like this on it? It does, and I can't believe that she's a beginner. Oh, look. I know. And that she does these. I've been like sewing on and off for years, and I couldn't do something like yeah. this. So. Oh, these are beautiful. This is great. And I love the fabrics Thank that you. you've chosen. Um, this this kind of nice. Now, do you do placemats too with the table runners? Or I haven't done the placemats yet. Well, but there's that's another my next idea project. for you. <clears throat> yeah. Your next project. Um, Okay, that's, that's great. Now, what other projects do you think you're going to be doing? Do you have any other ideas of maybe what you'll be doing later on? or? Well, I make soap. and um, Oh, I forgot to set that on the table. We will get it and show it. Absolutely, because that was, I love the way that, that she even has it displayed. That's exactly. Why I went the upstairs and made sure, it yes. was really good. And I made sure that I ran up and got it to bring it down here and then forgot to put it on the table. I'm That's sorry. All right. How is That's the right. soap made? What, do you, what are the ingredients? Uh, goat's milk, um, basically, and, and I also make glycerin and uh, uh, just different scents. So it's nice for your skin. Yes, yes, very skin. How friendly. long does it take you to make something like that? Not long. It's it's. What's well, not long? A couple of hours or a yes. day? Or well, <laughs> it has to set up. You yeah. Know? Uh, but that. What's the process? You you couple hours okay. to uh, yeah to you, you heat the you know the uh -huh. soap materials and then uh, add your um, fragrances last so that they won't you know dissipate cook you know, away yeah. and then uh, then you pour it into the molds and let uh -huh. it harden and and what got you interested in making soap is it because you couldn't find anything that was really good for your skin or did you do yes well yes and uh, you have very pretty skin by the way yes she does oh, you yeah, really do thank so you very much. that soap must be working thank you. <laughs> yeah I have a sensitivity so I, I like oh. to use things that aren't very harsh well, that's good to know, too, so that the soaps are not harsh that she makes, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, and, um, and the packaging is real cute, so that can be for lots of gifts, gifts too. Yes. We're, we're, we're really into this whole gift giving mm -hmm. because, um, at least I believe, that if you buy something for yourself, I mean, if you buy something for someone else, then it, you don't feel so guilty whenever you pick up something for yourself while you're here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's that gonna work, you know. Yeah. Yes. I don't know. I'll have to figure out who else I can buy for. <laughs> well, you bought <laughs> so me I something yesterday. That's right, I did. Yes, the you necklace did. that you had on last time looked so pretty on you. I went back and bought it for her because it was oh, perfect for her outfit. Nice. So yeah. it's really fun to shop here because and and you had some fun. You've seen some changes here, haven't you? Oh, yes. Shopping at yes. The Fifth Street Ruth made a big difference. Yes. Uh, what was it like when you first came here? You just kind of not limit. It was limited, and they didn't have the downstairs, right? Uh, Three years ago, or did they? It, it was they? here, but uh, it was just uh, a different type of uh, product. Uh huh. And um, Ruthie made it fresher uh -huh. and more friendly and welcoming. Mm hmm. And it's just more pleasant now. It kind of feels good walking through. You almost you do feel like you're really walking through a marketplace with all of the things here that are, are so varied. You know, you have yes. so many different 
vendors here and so many different products, whether it's handmade right. or whether the, <clears throat> the people have gone out and purchased things for you, have looked all over. You didn't even have to go to Knoxville no. because Knoxville no. is brought things here. The people from Knoxville yes. brought things here. And, and so it's just a variety of really good variety. stuff. It makes it fun. Yeah, you could yeah. shop for so many different interests here for mm -hmm. just about everyone that you want to buy for. Now, that's what you did when you came here. You were here for three years, and you brought your sister-in-law, Chris, here to yes. do some shopping, and she fell in love with that. Mm -hmm. So it's a perfect place to bring a visitor, isn't right. it? Right. Right. You know, it's, it's like, oh, I know where I can take them. <laughs> I hear that on an everyday basis by really? working here. Yeah. I hear that on an everyday basis that yeah. um, so-and-so, you know, has someone coming in from out of town and that they yeah. can't wait to bring them here because it's so diverse. Yes. And plus the fact that they can get homemade candies, homemade goods, and have the cafe right. and eat, and they kind of can make a day out of it. Now, the cafe and eating. Here. Have you eaten at oh, the cafe? Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. I came on the oh, first yes, day. She says. Yes. <laughs> the very first day. And what's your favorite thing over there? I love the chicken salad with the fruit. Oh, I've yeah. had that. That is good. Yes. And the quiche. Yes. Oh, have you had the quiche? Yes. That Very is good. Just so good. good. It just kind of melts in your mouth. Those are mm -hmm. the two best sellers yeah. that we have in the is cafe. It? Mm -hmm. I heard the and onion it, soup is really, really good. And is. my husband loves onion soup. So great place everything, to take them while I, I kind of scout around. I think everything on the menu is good in there. Yeah. It really is. So. There's not anything that I wouldn't recommend. So this is great because you can bring guests here like you did your sister, not only shopping, but stopping for a nice lunch. Right. Or if you've already eaten, you can at least come for dessert and mm -hmm. tea and coffee or whatever you have that's refreshing to drink. Mm -hmm. Isn't that nice? And it's a pleasant, comfortable place to be. Well, speaking of comfortable, we actually have some comfortable chairs for the men to come in and sit down while their wives are shopping. Yeah. <laughs> you know, if they're anything like me and they want to drag their husband along from time to time, we have nice chairs for them to sit in yeah. so well, that they can have a cup of coffee and maybe a dessert and, and the wives can shop. Now, um, so, have you found anything for your husband here or... His, uh, well, good, good, actually, Chris's husband, for his birthday, <laughs> yes, yes I, I found something for him yeah. for barbecuing. He loves to barbecue. That's what's oh, so nice. There's <clears throat> so many unusual things here, not only for women, but for the men and for the children. And we're going to go into that in uh, one of our other segments. But it's just amazing all the different, and you, even cards, card shopping here and, and so on. It's just a fantastic place to come to. So um, we really have enjoyed having you here. We oh, love you. the products that you're doing. This is thank good. You. Oh, we mustn't forget this. Tell us a little <laughs> bit about this. Uh, this is, was made by my granddaughter. It's a wallet. She makes these, and we have some upstairs in our booth. And she makes them out of duct tape. Isn't that interesting? <laughs> that is. She uh, makes them for her friends at school, and so she made some for us to display here and well, sell. good. And how old is she? She's 17. 17. Very good. Now, see, that's a, I've seen a lot already. of the girls at church, at church that carry these that are the youngsters that, well, teenagers youngster <laughs> to me, but anyway, that carry these. Yeah. And it's nice. We have certainly enjoyed talking to you, learning about what you're doing, continued success on your sewing, bring more in, and we'll see you again. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. Good. We thank, thank you. you for joining us at The View from the Fifth Street Marketplace. We hope you've enjoyed yourself as much as we have. We invite you to come back again and join us at TV3 Spirit Broadband the next time. Until then, come on in. Enjoy it as much as in person as we have. Lots of goodies here. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have fun. Thank you. You will have fun, huh? Yeah. Thank you, Thank you.
We think 